Konnichiwa, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about building strong relationships with our buyers. We're going to continue from last week on this theme. So let's get going. This is the fourth year of the Sales Japan Series podcast, and we are broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minato-ku. It is chic central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, the best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mars, it will be released shortly. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID-19. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 258, 258. Today, we are talking about part two of how to build strong relationships with our buyers. In the last episode, we looked at the first three of the human relations principles we can apply when interacting with our buyers. Sales is all about trust. Trust is built up through what we say and what we do. It is also a function of our behavior with buyers we face a tricky equation of getting on with all types of buyers with different outlooks, communication, and personality styles. There are some universal aspects of our control over what we say and how we say it, which will serve us well in order to serve the largest scope of buyers possible. We know all of these things. The only problem is we don't do them. Okay, number four, principle number four. Become genuinely interested in other people. We are all severely time poor and focused on what we need to do. We have little mental bandwidth for what other people are thinking or need. It is very hard to build up trusting buyer relationships with a time poor, highly transactional approach. If we don't build trust, then what sort of relationship will we have with the buyer? The way to build trust is to get to know people and get them to get to know us. The more things we share in common, the easier it is to get on with each other. This is not manipulation. Trying to get to know others so that we can use them. People are not stupid and they pick up on this immediately. What we are talking about here is genuine interest. Each one of us has areas or experience or interest which others would find genuinely interesting. It is often amazing to learn things about buyers you've worked with over many years that you had no idea about. It makes for a richer, happier interaction. With new clients, it breaks the ice and makes the relationship building go so much smoother. You might be thinking, but even if I start to be genuinely interested in them, it's difficult to start a conversation about things other than the products. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom, We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Now, today's show is being sponsored by Storytelling on the 19th of October, Time Management on the 28th of October, High Impact Presentations, that's on the 4th and 5th of November, and on the 11th of November, we have Successful Public Speaking. 
Check out our website, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery. This is the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery, both are available on Amazon. And my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be out in 2021. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. So, how to start off that conversation? The first step is use principle number five, smile. As we smile, we start to develop a relationship with the buyer. It sounds so simple. Smile. How hard can that be? Well, take a good look at people's faces at work and in business. Most are looking stressed, concerned, pressured, and very, very serious. Not too many smiles being shared around. That is the way of the modern world. We are supposed to be getting more time thanks to technology, but in fact, it is making us busier and more stressed as a result. So keep this in mind, that every time you face a buyer to speak, crack a big smile first before you say anything. They will feel better about you and much more likely to cooperate with you and be pleased to see you every time you turn up. They will feel it is easier to speak with you and you can bridge into the conversations beyond just the lineup of the products catalog. Number six, remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. It's unthinkable that we would forget the name of our buyer. However, we might be dealing with a number of people on the buying side, and we may not meet all of them each time. If we meet them again or pass them on the way to the meeting room or meet them at a networking event, we had better be able to remember their name. They may not be able to remember ours, by the way, so we should eliminate any potential embarrassment. Here is an iron rule. Whenever we meet anyone, always start with offering our name first. For example, hi, Greg Story, good to meet you again. If we start packing the conversation with the buyer's name every few minutes, it sounds weird, and we will have the opposite effect than that which we desire. It has to have a natural cadence. We need to get the personalization balance right, and common sense should be determining when to use their name. How well can we apply these simple yet effective principles with buyers? None of these ideas are new, complex, or difficult. The secret is having the discipline to change how we currently communicate with our buyers. We get into ruts, get stuck in fixed patterns of interaction. Try to break out of those confines and make the buyer, the human being, the center of the conversation. Our competitors won't be doing this. So it is an excellent and simple way to differentiate ourselves from the competition. Thank you for joining the Sales Japan series. If you found the program useful, 
Please work on your karma and share it with your family, friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon.